I met her at a country bar and uh, I was trying to buy her a drink because I thought she was attractive. We met at a bar, it's called The Bank in Norfolk, Virginia. And uh, I was dumb and I didn't exactly think till I get her number, so I was just hoping to see her the next day. I said I would be there the next night. And she actually stood me up. And he went and I actually, I actually didn't show up because I had hurt my hip that day and he keeps saying that I stood him up. Uh, I stood there all night waiting for her. Aww. She didn't show up, so I was a little heartbroken. So I went the next night because I felt so bad and I was hoping that he would be there. The next following day, she actually did show up and uh, I mustered the courage and maybe a little liquid courage helped too. And um, we ran into each other again, we started talking, and then exchanged numbers and here we are. <laughs> I, we, we actually started modeling not too long ago and I decided to talk to one of our favorite photographers about planning like a, a faux photo shoot up in Shenandoah. I hadn't been to Shenandoah in years. Um, so we got ready as usual. She had a beautiful white jumpsuit and a fur coat. And we went up, we were ready to just do some photos. Uh, we pretended that we were gonna do some photo shoot. We took some fake photos and we had her turn around like I was gonna embrace her. And then while she was turning around and getting all prepped, I was on one knee. I turned around and there I was on a knee and I, was, I had to check myself for a minute to make sure this wasn't just like part of the photos. And she, she said yes, thankfully. <laughs> it took a minute for me to process, but I said yes. I love her sense of humor and her smile. Uh, I, I, I'm a tough cookie sometimes, but she, she breaks me up and uh, kind of gets me out of my shell. He acts differently with me compared to everyone else. Like I get that softer side of him and yeah, not everyone gets to see that.